Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Emily Sridhar. And I'm Sarah Yargal. Today is Monday, March 6, 2023. And here are your morning announcements. Monday is an A day with LS2 and CT. Tomorrow is a B day. The Reading Center is open during CT in room 226 and after school by appointment. It is a great resource to use if you are looking to strengthen your writing. No matter what subject, you can come and get support. Homework Club is open to all students every Monday and Thursday from 3 to 4.30. The room numbers are listed above and QR codes are posted on flyers around the school to give room locations based on each subject. Late buses are provided. The Spring Fling Dance is March 18th from 8 to 10 p.m. Tickets will be sold March 6th through the 10th for $15 and it will go up to $20 from March 13th to the 17th and will rise to $25 at the door. Women's History Month was founded in March 1987 and has been celebrated since. Every year, March is designated Women's History Month by Presidential Proclamation. The month is set aside to honor women's contributions in American history. I think Women's History Month is important to celebrate so that we can acknowledge all of the amazing women out there that may not have appeared in history books like Maria Talchief or Helen Keller. The woman who inspired me the most was Eleanor Roosevelt. She cared about everybody. She took care of her husband when he was dying. She took care of um, poor people. She took care of the disenfranchised. She was a big proponent, proponent of civil rights. She is absolutely my heroine. A woman that really inspires me is my own mother, who is an incredible artist and writer and thinker and I just enjoy having continued conversations with her now that she's in her 83rd year. Women's History Month is super important to celebrate. Um, we still live in a world where women are prejudiced against very heavily. Um, you have things such as the wage gap, you don't see women in many leadership positions, of course, much more than you did 20 years ago, but still we have a long way to go. I definitely think some important events might be things that we highlight now, like women who helped us get to the moon, women who excelled in computer science. So I think it's really about getting women to an equal stature as men are, and also getting them the respect that they deserve, because at the end of the day, we can do anything that a man can do. Um, and I also think it's very important um, in the respect of reproductive rights. All the outspoken women in uh, early history kind of paved the way for women. Set examples. Everybody needs an example of somebody to say, you know, I could do that too. The National Women's History Alliance has announced the women's history theme for 2023 to be celebrating women who tell our stories. This has been Suzanne Donnelly and James Lynch for the Nightly News. Now back to you. 
A woman who inspires me is Selena Gomez. She's amazing. Mine's Haley Bieber. Oh my gosh, I love her. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Sarah Yargal. And Emily Shreda, reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.